All right, coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Bantamweight Division matchup. Well, if she is not the best ground and pound fighter in the women's game today, give me another name, right? Because she has taken it to the next level, and more often than not, when she gets you down and starts throwing punches, referee's coming in shortly there. The referee, Jumping in to save her opponents has almost become yeah, uh, synonymous with yeah, her fights. It's the way that her fights in. She's beating him so badly that the ref has to jump in and save him. We have not seen anyone so good at grounding pound since Tatiana Suarez first entered the UFC, and she has taken that to a whole other level. Her ability to just control posture, control range, and land from anywhere from the top position is truly inspiring to watch. And not unlike you, she's got a mean streak. She told us in the oh. fighter meeting on Thursday, I'm about to give her some scars for life. So three souvenirs coming on the ground if we get there tonight. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here on the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to a lean technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight, it's always so clean, and then outside leg kick. Every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, seven losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Misha Cupcake Tate. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, New in. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. All right, so here we go, one of the better strikers in this division. Pretty straightforward as to what you expect both of these fighters to do here. I expect them to follow the game plan that got them to the show. You don't get cute in these situations. Right, right. You don't get cute in these situations. You rely on what got you here. If you're a great grappler, get close. Make contact, use your trips and throws to get the fight to move on. Well, back to some nice back and roll from the former Strike champion, Misha Tate. Trying to hammer that deep leg. Oh man, I hate to laugh, but she lands another kick there, and now you're really starting to see that visible damage. When you start seeing the redness in the leg, that means that every time she's driving that baseball bat, driving to the thigh where she wants it to land, and now her opponent is lifting. I think she hurt. So a big TKO victory for her here tonight. She executed to a T, and she makes a major statement to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called the stop to this contest at one minute. 
43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Nguyen! Well, she is smiling ear to ear and hard to blame ref after she gets the win tonight by TKO. And really, everything she said about this fight coming in played out that way on fight. Sometimes you can say a lot of things and you're not sure it's actually gonna happen. Tonight, everything she said would happen did. Very rare, but she should be very proud of the work she got done here.